This podcast looks at the significance of the reigns of James II and William III, King Billy, in Ireland. Every 12th of July, the Orange Order exhorts its members to remember 1690. The year of the Battle of the Boyne is one of the most frequently invoked dates in modern Irish history, but it's also probably among the least well understood. Orangemen still regard the defeat of King James at the hands of the Dutch King William as marking the triumph of the Protestant religion and Protestant virtues in Ireland at large and the north of Ireland in particular. In a different way, English liberals were once happy to celebrate the so-called Glorious Revolution of 1688, the precursor to William's victory in Ireland, as marking the end of the attempts of the Stuart monarchs to establish absolutism in England and the foundation of a pluralist parliamentary democracy enshrining the rights of the individual through the Bill of Rights and religious toleration through the 1689 Toleration Act. Of course, to endorse the idea that William's revolution was libertarian, tolerant and even bloodless, as 19th century liberals were also wont to claim, always meant turning a blind eye to events in Ireland, which were drenched in violence and fuelled by sectarian antagonisms. So that when, in 1988, government in London embarked on a series of tercentenary commemorations of the Glorious Revolution, the Irish experience had to be regarded as exceptional and was often ignored as an embarrassment. The true significance of the Williamite Revolution in Ireland has therefore either been exaggerated by partisan rhetoric or obscured by willful neglect. In fact, the events in Ireland in the years 1688-91 to were complex, from the time William's invasion fleet set sail from Holland until the conclusion of hostilities with the capitulation of the Jacobite garrisons of Galway and Limerick, and the consequences of these events were far-reaching. 